Let's draw the diagrams for the two instants of time. One, when the bulb detaches itself from the ceiling. So this is the bulb. And at that instant, the elevator and the bulb both have an upward velocity of 16 meters per second. See, four seconds after the elevator starts moving, at a constant acceleration of 4 meters per second squared, the bulb breaks loose from the ceiling. So the bulb and the elevator have a velocity of 16 meters per second. A little time later, the bulb hits the floor of the elevator. So let me draw that here. So by that time, the elevator has moved up a certain distance and the bulb is now here on the floor. So let's say the time it takes is t seconds. That is the time from the moment the bulb detaches itself from the ceiling and the moment it hits the floor of the elevator. So during this time, the displacement of the bulb is given by our familiar formula ut plus half at squared. Since the bulb is falling freely, minus 10 t squared. Notice that I have taken up as positive, acceleration of gravity being downwards, it's negative. So this displacement is 16 t minus 5 t squared. During the same time, the floor of the elevator has moved up and that's the displacement of the elevator and that's given by 16t, that's the initial velocity of the elevator at the instant that the bulb leaves the ceiling, plus half times the acceleration of the elevator plus 4t squared. So this quantity is 16t plus 2t squared. Now if you look at this diagram, you can see very clearly that 16t plus 2t squared, that is from the floor of the elevator at the initial time to the floor at the final time, minus the displacement of the bulb gives us the height of the elevator. So, displacement of the elevator minus displacement of the bulb, 16t minus 5t squared, is going to be the height of the elevator, 4. So, 16 minus 16 cancels. And what do I have? 2t squared plus 5t squared, 7t squared is equal to 4. And so, the time is square root of 4 by 7 seconds. I have solved this problem at the ground frame of reference. This is from the point of view of someone standing on the ground. This person sees the elevator moving up, accelerating upwards. I've used that. And in this person's frame of reference, the bulb falls with an acceleration due to gravity. And it has an initial velocity of 16 meters per second and so forth. This is how we solve the problem in the ground frame of reference. Let's now solve the problem in the elevator frame of reference, that is the accelerated frame of reference. In the elevator frame of reference, the elevator is stationary. It's not moving. That is, from the point of view of someone standing inside the elevator, the elevator is not moving and the bulb is also not moving. So when the bulb leaves the ceiling, its initial velocity is zero. But this is an accelerated frame of reference as seen by the person on the ground. So the person on the ground says the elevator has an upward acceleration of four meters per second squared. So in the elevator frame, that is in the accelerated frame, apart from gravity, 10 meters per second squared, we need to introduce another gravitational field pointing opposite to this acceleration, 
downwards of 4 meter per second square. Remember, if a car has an acceleration A, in the frame of reference of the car, everything has an extra acceleration minus A. It is as though someone has turned on a gravitational field whose acceleration is minus A. So from the elevator's point of view, so inside the elevator, the acceleration due to gravity is 14 meters per second squared. So initial velocity u is 0, acceleration is minus 14 meters per second squared, and the displacement is minus 4 meters because the bulb comes down by 4 meters. I'm still taking up as positive. So s is equal to ut plus half a t squared. And once again I get t is equal to minus 4 divided by minus 7 square root of that. So square root of 4 by 7 seconds. Now if you get used to this way of thinking, this way of solving the problem is much faster and easier. You just get into the elevator's frame. In that frame, enhance gravity and treat it like a stationary elevator. Thank you.